somehow I just got on this course of I was looking for darkness and I was looking for pain and I was attracted to anything that would bring that to me. You know, I come home from school and there's just no one there. My mother now is married to this other man and she literally had to say to me, God comes first, my husband comes second and my children come third. So you're gonna have to deal with that. I started stealing. I remember the thrill of it, like uh, one day I decided to drink some brandy that my stepfather had in his safe. And um, from feeling like uh, lost, alone, unloved, angry, I mean, that was my experience every day, just this boiling mix of those emotions. I went to feeling perfect, whole, without problems, happy, smiling, laughing. I'd found a friend, like someone who understood me and accepted me and made me feel good. This is how it always was, actually. The thrill of how far can I push this? Soon I was smoking weed before school. Mandrax at like 15, huff chloroform, sniff paint thinners. I'd bring it in a coffee flask. I did everything I could to get high at, at any opportunity. It was just chaos. I remember there was this guy. And I grabbed him and threw him on the pavement, ground his head into the tar. I was very angry, very violent, um, so fucking high. And I would get called into the principal's office and when I'm in there, I would just break down and sob. And he would say, Milton, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All the kids in my class um, made a petition to have me removed because I was so disruptive. And my mother <clears throat> tried to hug me and I just stood there like stone with her like crying, holding me, you know, and, and just thinking, I will never give you anything. I, I was just saying to myself, I want heroin. That is what I want. I'm not even looking for the fun times. I just wanted pain. Yeah, I started injecting it. I mean, I discovered this drug is this force, this tidal wave that I had no ability to control. What I was doing was literally replacing every piece of goodness with this evil shit that has gone through this conveyor belt of pain and death. I mean, it's, it, it's gangsters that, that give this to you. Killers, murderers, you know, people die for this shit. And you literally take a brown powder that you, you cook it up, you'll see like, like green or black bubbling up inside it. And you don't know what these motherfuckers have cut this stuff with but you believe that it's gonna take the pain away and that's all that matters. I, so all I wanted was love, man, <laughs> you know, and I, and I wasn't getting it, but I was also refusing to accept it. I can't learn shit from blaming someone else. That doesn't help me. I could have responded in any number of ways, but I chose that way. I chose heroin and crack and holding my mother hostage by way of my emotions. I chose these weird fucked up ways of communicating when I could have just told someone how I felt. This is the, what happens for an addict. Every day you have to make excuses for your bullshit. Any amount of self-esteem that you might have had gets slowly just leached away in this endless cycle of pathetic inability to look after yourself and love the people that love you. Hitchhiking, um, it's a hobby of mine and the reason I do it is because I have no control 
over anything. I don't know who's going to pick me up. I don't know how long it's going to take to get to my destination. I don't know when next I'm going to eat. I don't know when next I'm going to drink. I don't know what we're going to talk about. It's just me, a road, and God. What I discover is if I let it, life is fucking unbelievable. Because anything I think it's going to be, it's not that. I thought a truck would stop for me, a little mini stops for me. I thought I would probably get some Afrikaans farmer. It's a young girl who's just finished her degree in fucking tourism. I think I'm going to sleep in the bush that night. I end up sleeping over at someone's house. Um, I always get enough to eat. I'm always looked after. So what I'm trying to do is uh, surrender.